Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here again. Well, as you can see in the video, guys, this is my P. Rufalata. Now, people that are new to the hobby, P stands for Poclotheria. Now, in the Poclotheria genus, there's, there's around about 13 or 14 different species. Um, Poclotheria tranchulas are an arboreal um, species that live in trees. That's why you can see uh, the cork bark on its side. So, in this uh, particular tub here uh, this one is around about a two inch unsexed um, specimen so I'm not too sure if it's a male or female uh, just yet uh, I've tried to sex it by malt but the malt's always completely trashed so I can't um, sex it just yet so I'm going to rehouse it into something a bit more bigger so as you can see I've got them in glass enclosures a um, couple of inches of substrate with a water dish as well so it should be perfectly fine in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take the lid off, pick up the cork bark and put it straight inside there. Um, no need to get it out, put it in and do the cork bark. So you might as well just do it all in one go. It is just a lot, lot easier. So I hope you all can see perfectly fine. There we, there we go everyone. I hope you're all having a nice weekend and I haven't tidied my bed up. I'm terrible. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll just take the lid off guys. So what I'll do is I'll just slowly pick up the cork bark and put it inside there like that. And I'll just double check the tranchula's not inside the uh, tub and it isn't. So that's about the easiest way you can possibly do it I would say. Um, these tubs, they're okay for a slings, but as they get to around about two to two and a half inches, and then it's best to uh, rehouse it. And there's the tea just there. Not very big, beautiful species. Uh, females get to around about nine to a ten inch leg span. Uh, so females are absolutely massive. Males are not very big. Males get to around about the... Uh, four to five inch leg span. So males are considerably smaller than females. Um, yeah, there it is just there. Looking absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it should be perfectly fine in there. And I've just been there uh, misting, misting all my tanks up there. Just lift the humidity up a little bit. So I've been lifting all the humidity in all my or boreal enclosures so the roof light will just go up there I've moved my spider-man cup out the way so yeah that should that didn't go too bad uh, but as I said that is the most easiest way to do it uh, no point stressing the transfer rate right? leave it in its original um, surroundings and it's just a lot easier okay everyone thanks for watching